Hi, and in today's PowerPoint tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert a video from a file and also from an online video platform such as YouTube into your PowerPoint presentation. I'm also going to show you how to animate your video with bullet points. So I've just opened my default document here and as a result we have a title section and a subtitle section. Now if I wanted to insert a video into this slide here I'm going to just have to slightly change this layout. So if I just go up to the home tab and then along to this section here I go up to this tab here that says layout with a little drop down arrow. If I select the drop down arrow I have a number of options here. And some of those options include a section with a number of icons and those icons allow you to insert several different things. So I just click on this one here, title and content. You can see that there are numerous icons here. And those relate to inserting things such as tables, images, online images, videos, charts and smart art. So let's just go ahead and pop a title in. And then if I click on this icon here, which is insert video from file. Now let's just say I wanted to insert this YouTube video I've done previously and just click insert. And there we have your video that's inserted into your slide. Now you can make adjustments to this, so you can edit it by grabbing the corners and clicking and dragging. So if you wanted this video to stretch over your entire slide, then you can simply move it to the corner, go down to the lower right corner and just stretch it as far as you need to. So as you can see around this video, I have this black band at the top and the bottom. Now I can actually crop that by going up to the crop tool, which is in the video format tab. If that tab is not highlighted, it's because your video isn't selected. So just click on the video anywhere and video format will appear at the top. Go along to crop, go down, select crop and then these black lines will appear at the corners and in the centre of the sides of your video. Now just click and drag and crop off as much of the video as you want to. Let's just crop off most of this. And I can do the sides as well. And then just click crop. And again, if we move this around, you can see that that has been cropped. And then what will happen within your presentation is you'll simply use your mouse to click on the play button. Now if I click on this video it will begin to play and you can see that by the numbers here but in this particular video I'm talking quite a lot so if I just zoom to here you can see the video is actually playing. Okay and the way that would work in your presentation let's just create a new slide and then just move this slide up one. So if this was my uh, front cover and then if I go down to my slideshow you can see that my front cover appears Then if I click my mouse then my second slide appears which is my video and then just click on the play button and the video will begin to play and if I just fast forward press play again you can see that the video is playing. Okay, so that's video from file. Let's just get rid of that. Now, if I wanted to insert a video from YouTube, then all I do is I go to YouTube and I want to insert this video here. So all I need to do is to go up to the URL address at the top here, click on it, copy and paste it, sorry copy it, then go back to PowerPoint and then go along to insert and then along to video, click on the drop down and click on online film. Then it will give you the option here to enter the URL. 
then just paste the URL into here and click insert. Once again your video will appear and again you can stretch this video to suit your needs if you want to stretch it out for the uh, to fit the entire slide or you can move it around anywhere in your document and if we just click on the play button then you can see that my video will begin to play. If I go up to the front cover, just go to my slideshow again, click my mouse, my video will appear, I click on the play button and my video will appear. Now the one thing you do have to remember for online videos is in order to show them you will have to have an internet connection uh, wherever you're doing your presentation. Now it's relatively easy just to insert a video into your PowerPoint presentation but if you wanted to insert the video into a slide alongside other text which allows you to animate it so that the video will appear, it will then play on your next click and then bullet points will appear on clicking your mouse as well then we can go ahead and do that by using a slightly different layout in our slide. So I've gone up to the Home tab here and I've just used the layout tab once again to insert a new layout which allows me to put video and text into my slide. So if I just quickly add a title and then I'm going to go ahead here and I'm just going to insert some bullet points. Okay so we've just got a little bit of text in there now and all I'm going to do in this section here is I'm just going to click on this section up here just to highlight the box here so we've selected it so PowerPoint knows where to place our video and then I'm going to go up to the insert tab and along to video again click on the drop down click on line film and once again I'm going to just paste in the URL of my YouTube video and click insert and then we have our video now I'm just going to line up this video with the text so I'm just going to pull that up a little bit and click on the section here I'm just going to pull that down so they're just in line to neaten up that slide. So what you'll notice is once the video is imported then you'll notice there's a number one here and then there's a lightning bolt here. And what that indicates is that when we click on this slide everything will appear in the slide and then on the first click of the mouse this video will begin to play. But what we actually want to happen is for the video to slide in, then the video to play and then one by one each of these different bullet points will come in on the click of our mouse. So what we need to do is we need to animate our bullet points. Now, as you can see there's an animation menu which appears on the right hand side and this is going to show us all the different transitions that happen once we click our mouse. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click and highlight all of my bullet points and I'm going to go up to animations here and I'm going to select this animation here called flying. Now you can select from any of these just depending on what you want and you can click on the drop down and it will give you many many different options but I'm going to click on fly in. Now as you can see what just happened there is it's just giving you a quick preview to show you that all your bullet points will appear at once as a collection from the bottom of your page. Now we actually want them to appear from the left and we want them to appear one by one. So what we need to do is to go to this section here. Now at the moment you can see that all of these different animations are highlighted in grey. So it means that whatever we do down here is going to affect each one of these different animations. If it's not selected, if you just click on it and then you just hold the shift key down and click on the bottom one, that'll all be highlighted. Then if I go down to effect options and property, I want to select from left. And that will mean now that our animations, our bullet points will arrive from the left hand side. Now at the moment again we've got the first thing that will appear is our online media and then it will be the collection of bullet points. Now in order to change them to arrive one by one on our click you can see here we've got these different numbers. 
So at the moment the video will arrive first, on the next click all of these. So we want this one to arrive on our next click, but on this one we want to change this to arrive afterwards. So if we highlight this number here, make sure we're on the Animations tab, and then just go up to here and click on On Click. Then again go down to the next one and do exactly the same on Click, and as you do so you can see that the numbers will change. So now we have one, two, three, four and five and in our menu bar here you can see one, two, three, four and five. Now let's just see how that looks when we play it on our slideshow. So that's how the front cover will appear. I click my mouse, the title and this will appear, this video. On the next click the video will play. On the next click you can see as I'm clicking all of our bullet points will arrive from the left. Now if you wanted just the title to appear and then the video to appear after that then let's just go ahead and change the animation. So at the moment you can see that my online media arrives at the same time as my title. Now if we click on the online media and we decide to make it fly in and give it a transition you can see again it's going to come in from the bottom and we want to change that from the left. So at the moment number one is it's going to fly in from the left and then it's going to play at the same time. So let's just check that again in our slideshow. Our title appears, we click the mouse again, our video appears, click the mouse again. Now our bullet points begin to appear from the left which is great but our video hasn't played. So let's just go up and correct that. And the reason being is because it's down here and what we need to do is move it up here. So if we click on the media and we pull it up between 1 and 2 and drop it in, what that means is on our first mouse click the online media will appear because it's flying in. On the second click, it will begin the media to play, because you can see this pause button here. And then all of our other bullet points will appear. So again, let's just go down and check that works. I click my mouse, I click again, and the video should play. I click again, and you can see all of my bullet points appear from the left. Okay. And now you can see that number one has appeared here and number two underneath is to play the video. So let's say for example you wanted this video to play at the end of the bullet points. Then all you'd simply need to do is click on this bit with the uh, pause icon and drag it to wherever you want it to begin to play. So if I wanted to play at the end I'm just going to drag it down to the bottom. And what that will mean is that the video will begin to play when I click after the final bullet point. So if we just go and have a look at that, we have the title, the video comes in, then I discuss a few points about the video that we're about to see, the final bullet point comes in and I click again and the video will begin to play. Okay so I hope that's helped you today, if it has please subscribe and have a great day.